Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the ammonium dichromate volcano. Now we've all seen the classic volcano where you put baking soda and vinegar in a small volcano and it erupts a little bit out the sides, some CO2 is produced so it makes it bubble out. It's a little bit cooler when you put it in a vacuum chamber. But still, not quite the same effect as a real volcano. So today I wanted to do a little bit more dangerous volcano reaction. So I'm going to be using ammonium dichromate. This is the dangerous part because it's a carcinogen and it's also highly toxic. So you don't want to eat this stuff or get it on your hands or anything. The cool thing about ammonium dichromate is that it's pretty unstable, which means if you heat it up to just around 190 degrees Celsius, it'll start to decompose. So now watch what happens when I heat up the ammonium dichromate a little bit. So it creates this runaway decomposition and it decomposes into chromium oxide, nitrogen gas and water. So the effects of it aren't toxic anymore. Chromium oxide is just an irritant, it's not toxic anymore. And of course nitrogen and water aren't toxic either. Whoa, there it goes. Holy cow, look at it go. It's starting to throw it up in the air like a real volcano. So what's causing it to fly up in the air like this? Well, it's heating up the air around it, so that causes an updraft, but also it's producing nitrogen gas and water vapor. And so that gas is expanding rapidly, throwing the ash up into the air. What's interesting about this specific reaction is it used to be done all the time in chemistry classes, but because of the toxicity of ammonium dichromate, they started to do it less and less as time went on. So hot. But the best part about this reaction is because it's thermally decomposing and not actually combusting with the oxygen in the air, it means that it doesn't need oxygen to burn. So that means even though it gets covered with this green chromium oxide, it can continue to decompose and burn underneath, throwing up the nitrogen and water. So it forms a nice, neat conical volcano. Until eventually it consumes all the ammonium dichromate and the reaction ends. Now decomposition reactions like this are really interesting because it's not combustion per se, so it doesn't need to react with the environment around it. It just reacts with itself. A comparable reaction to this is the elephant toothpaste reaction, where you get the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide that produces steam and oxygen. So again, because of that expanding gas and you have soap bubbles in there, the volume increases greatly. Before I end here, I'd like to thank Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Micro Center is one of the best places to shop for all your technology needs. It's like tech heaven. It has desktops, laptops, computer components, monitors, TVs, networking equipment. If you name it, they've got it. You can get the best prices and best selection on computer hardware and everything else technology at any one of Micro Center's 25 locations across the United States. Now, if you're into building your own PC, check out the Micro Center Custom PC Builder to spec out the best PC for your budget. This tool helps ensure that all the parts are compatible and work together. You can find stock items available at your nearest Micro Center location, add to your cart, and arrange same day in store pickup. And then for a fee, you can check the box that's marked Same Day Pro Assembly to have the Micro Center expert technicians assemble your PC for you. And if you need help deciding what parts to put in your new custom gaming PC, join the new online Micro Center community. This is a great place to discuss tech with other enthusiasts like you. So right now, Micro Center is offering a coupon code to you. The link is in the description. And also check the link in the description for a free pair of wireless Bluetooth headphones for new customers only, no purchase necessary. This is a limited time offer, valid in-store only and one coupon per customer. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts where I do videos similar to this channel, but I do them in a lot shorter time. I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.